I'm Caroline Matignon with Sparkling Logic, and today I would like to show you how to create a project from scratch using Sparkling Logic Smarts. I actually have one project that was provided to me by Jacob at Open Rules. Um, this is a contribution to the DMN standardization effort at OMG. This project is about medical recommendations in the case uh, of uh, one problem here, one medical condition. So the purpose of this project will be to define the medication and the dosage associated with it, as well as issue some warnings in case of drug interactions. So let's go ahead and start creating a project. So as we said, it's for patient therapy. And because I don't have anything created, I will just use the default project template uh, that comes with the product. I could go ahead and create um, the form just by hand by adding fields and defining my object model as part of the system. But because I have use cases that have been provided to me as part of the project, I don't need to do that. So I will infer the patient form directly uh, from those um, samples. It could come from your spreadsheets or XML documents or JSON files. Here I'm going to pick from JSON and I'm going to remove the other form, which leads to a warning because there was a decision uh, relying on that form. But everything is by default, so it doesn't really matter that we are removing things uh, for now. The sample is about the Smith family. So I have Smith use cases that you might be familiar with if you've seen this project before. And let me import those JSON document. I don't need all of the patients. I've isolated the Smith family. And sorry, I clicked a little bit too fast. So let me pick those use cases. Now we're ready to create a decision. This decision will help us define the treatment uh, for the medical decision. And for that, I will need patient information, which is great because I have some. And that will create uh, a new decision service uh, with a very simplistic decision flow. And I just have to make those use cases available in the context of this decision so that I will be able to test my decision against some specific use cases. You might be familiar with John, with a gentleman um, with allergies and active medication. There are some other uh, Smith family members, uh, the younger Mary and um, the older Jane. As you can see, I don't only have information about those patients, I also have the decisions that will be made by the system. So I'm cheating a little bit uh, because I know what will be the expected decisions uh, that the system will make. But it's okay if you don't have it, then uh, you can certainly write the rules and they will set those values. So let's focus on those rules that we have in the system. So right now it's only one step. I will just update the name because I would like to define the medication only uh, as the first step in the decision step in the decision flow, and then eventually I will have more steps to add the dosage and to def to one about uh, drug interactions. But you could do everything in one step if you wanted to. So starting from um, this first rule set, I will be able to write rules the old-fashioned way, just writing the if then else. But I think there is a way that will be more efficient by using my red pen. But before I know exactly what to do with those use cases, I will go back to the form and look at the logic that needs to be implementing, implemented. So fo let's focus first on the medication rules. If the patient is 18 or older, then we want to prescribe amoxicillin. If the patient is younger than 18, then it will be a different drug. And then there is an exception for patients that are allergic to penicillin. So let's go ahead and do that. Using the red pen, I can just click around in the form. I do need to pin my rule set first. Then pin around the form and select the attributes that matter. So this is the medical condition. This is the age range. Right now it's just equal to 65, but I want to make it applicable to anyone that is older than 
18. So let's just do that. The decision will be to prescribe as an action, not as a condition, amoxicillin. And that's creating my uh, brand new rule. And let me give a name to it. So that will be uh, for the 18 or older. And I can show you the rule content so that doesn't look like magic, <laughs> but you can actually see that uh, proper syntax is being generated here. Um, based on the age for patients that are older than 18, then this is what I will prescribe. I can create exceptions instead of just creating yet another one from scratch. That will keep all of those conditions, but create or all of those uh, statements, but create a brand new rule. So now for those that are strictly less than 18, make sure I pick the right one, I will want to prescribe something different. So let's see. There you go. So now we have our two rules that have been created very quickly using red pen. I wanted to show you that you don't have to use red pen and you could do it the old fashioned way of writing syntax. So let's create another rule uh, which will be about allergies. So now the syntax uh, remain the same. So as you see it, I'm just using IntelliSense to go faster. And for this medical condition and allergies contains so my set of allergies need to contain penicillin and if you're not familiar with the syntax then go ahead and use red pen you obviously don't have to type it but some people do like to know that they have these options so that's why I'm showing you um, the the various ways you can do that so the medication will be oopsie equal to the last one L E V O F L O X S C I N. Very good. So now we have our three rules into the system. We can execute um, for Jane um, this rule is um, the one that is applicable. Actually in order to see all of those use cases aggregated, what I could do real quick is to create uh, a dashboard and define this decision on medication as being a KPI and see the prescribed medications as a report included here into my dashboard. So let me uncover and we can see that two of the people are in um, the amoxicillin camp and one is in this uh, other is using this other drug uh, i could also see the same information here based on this uh, uh, color coding and we could move to who is that one person <laughs> that doesn't have um, amoxicillin as a prescription so now we have all of those things being defined for the medication. The next step will go to define the dosage. So let me add one step into our decisioning. It will be a brand new rule set, brand new decision step that defines the dosage. And I can add and select this step. Let me hide. Um, so now we have this decision step and I will be able to create the new rules. Let's look at the rules to make sure we know what to do. We want to uh, assign a dose of 500 milligrams for all the patients that are between 15 and 60. If the patient is not within this age group, then we're going to look at the creatinine level. If it's greater than 1.4, we'll need to calculate uh, the creatinine clearance which is this <laughs> ugly uh, formula. And then based on that value, if it's less than 50 milliliters per minute, then we're going to provide half the dose. We're going to uh, assign half the dose to those users. So let's do the first rule very quickly using red pen, because that's a convenient way of doing it. So for this medical, this medical condition, I will look at the age group. If it's greater than 15 and it's also less than 60. I could use the range 15 dot dot 60 that would work exactly the same but I wanted to show you the, the two dots. 
then um, this is my decision on those age so I'm going to turn that into an action so if that's the age group then this is what I will want to assign and let me provide a good name to that rule so that I can refer to it or I can better understand it so now we are going to be working with the other um, the other the other option based on the creatinine level and we can see that uh, here Jane is one that actually is outside of the boundaries let me activate red pen so that you can see this rule she's indeed older than 15 but she's not less than 60 so uh, she doesn't qualify for this rule I could create a rule and have this very complicated calculation in there but it's not very effective, not very efficient because I don't see the value and I have to believe it's <laughs> it will be less than 50. So what would be more convenient is to extend our, our form so that we can add a field that represents the creatinine clearance and I can compute it directly into the system and I will also be able to create rules about this calculation so I will make it a double and I will provide a computation if I didn't provide a computation it will be just an input field so it will expect me to punch in a number but I want all of that to be computed automatically so if you recall the calculation will be 140 minus the age uh, multiplied by the weight divided by the creatinine level mm, times 72 I believe let me just make sure I have the the formula correct I believe so so let's apply all of those changes I'm gonna hide because I think that's a lot of information and when I execute the rules again then all those values are computed automatically so I can I have uh, an eye check <laughs> that um, they are correct and now we're ready to do red pen again so we can create a brand new rule still for the same diagnostic uh, this time it will be based on the creatinine level which needs to be strictly greater than 1.4 and this clearance level that I can use very much as if it was a field in the form is less than 50 so if we are within those parameters then the action will be to provide half the dose which is 250 milligrams so that's very easy I could create yet another rule just in case actually let me make a add a name here so that I know what I'm talking about um, which you don't necessarily have to but if all your rules are called new rule it becomes confusing so you could add the default rule that will say um, still for this diagnostic uh, if I don't have any more information then the dosage will be not defined yet another way of doing that will be to add it as a default value to say that um, regardless of the problem if we have no rules that execute into the uh, the system the recommended dose should be equal to not defined yet the fact that it's a default means that it will be executed if nothing else executes inside this rule set and that will be um, also true for any of the rules if I put them in exclusive mode as soon as we execute one rule we'll get out of the rule set so there will be no overrides uh, and only the, the very first rule will uh, will win <laughs> the the definition of the treatment so we're done with dosage we've done it in uh, in that way and if we execute we should get to the same thing now we just have one last step which is to define the drug interactions so I'm going to add one more step very quickly which should warn about drug interactions I'm going to add this decision step and I'm going to select it there you go and now let me just get into red pen I can pin this new rule set to make sure that my rules will go in there
oh actually it doesn't matter in that case what we what the problem is but if we have uh, actually this is not correct if we have this rule let me delete it delete this condition if we have this drug and that drug at the very same time doesn't matter why they were uh, prescribed um, but if we have those two then we will want to warn the user that those that uh, coumadin uh, might have uh, reduced effectiveness so there you go so coumadin and uh, and this is it. Now we can execute all the rules, and um, they will work. Uh, they will assign. They are assigning all of those values automatically. Actually, I can just delete some of those decisions to prove that the execution of the rules will lead to those very decisions that we were expecting. So everything is back, back to normal. Et voilà. <laughs>